internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad, Synergy Cafe, and the Synergy Collaborative. And I'm going with a second, att- second attempt to connect with my friend here. And I think she's there. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I, I think I'm here. <laughs> You're in California. Yeah. It's now, warm and sunny today, and here I am with a shawl. It's cold inside. Now, I forgot how to pronounce your name. A mira, like a miracle. Like, um, oh yeah, a miracle. I should have remembered that. A miracle. There we go. <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't. <laughs> it's, it's a miracle we got connected here, but it works. So I abandoned the Skype thing, and this works much more smooth, and the voice is working, and it's all wonderful. So, you we've been through this before because we had some technical difficulties, but uh, basically it's just to get to know who you are, what you do, and all things like that, and then I take it and I propagate them out to the universe, and then people pick it up when they and if they do. So, the first thing is, who is Amir? Amir. Amir is a miracle mentor. I'm a quantum energy healer. and People often refer to me as like a human virus scan, and so it's like I debug and... and clear out malware in an energetic space around a person to create a smoother flow of life experiences and create miracles in your life. I get it. I'm an author. Just published a new book. Well, uh, show that again. The the glare was getting it. Manifesting Miracles 101 is my latest book. Nice. It's all the tips and tools and energetic quantum energy tools that will guide a person through creating miracles in their life. And, and it's no slight of the word. It's their true magical experiences. I get it. I've had them. <laughs> Aren't they fun when there's more of them? Yes. <laughs> and things are flowing. Especially when you can get in the zone and you can kind of create it. You yeah. co-create with the universe. Yeah, I've, I've done that magical. kind of stuff. It's, it's, you know, it's just quite fascinating. I, I find like I'm like a little kid when they happen. You know? It is because it's, it's out of the ordinary when that kind of stuff happens and when you can st- it's kind of like being in like a lucid dream and you're in control of what's going on and it's more of in real life being able to manifest that kind of stuff and, and it seems like it's um, like it's not normal but it is normal. Yeah. You just have to be in line. Mm-hmm. It, maybe it is because we don't experience them as often as we should but I think you know like as athletes when they get into the zone they talk about that and how everything just seems to flow and even time feels like it stops and you know i find that's that magical you know carpet ride to 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 creating things yeah because uh, the stuff is in flow through the whole universe is the universe is big and we just deal with the world here and then our own personal universes and just being in the zone a quick story i was with a friend over in bali we are going mountain biking through there and he's really into biking and i've not I don't really know that much but he was zipping down this path and it's rice paddies on one side and a 30 foot drop on the other side he's zipping down there and I'm kind of scared but I start getting in the zone and then I lost faith and what did I do I fell over I didn't fall over the 30 feet I fell on the rice paddy but because I lost (laughs) yeah yeah well if God wanted to he would have pushed me over the 30 side but I think I'm protected (laughs) <laughs> and you know, Brad, thank you for sharing that. That's a great analogy for what most of us are doing. We fall off in our rice paddies, but we, you know, we got to get back on the bike and keep trying. And I think as a human, we're here having this spiritual experience to learn these lessons and to figure it out. As we consistently get back on the bike and be in the flow, we can do it more often. Because I don't think it's unusual that we create miracles. I think it's more that we should be creating more and more in our lives. Yeah, and then I think it would end up feeling like the norm when anything just, just flowed. You'd be happy all the time, and you wouldn't have anything to complain about, and nobody would be at your pity parties anymore. You'd be by yourself being happy. What a bummer. Instead of, <laughs> instead of being in fear and, and anger and resentment and yeah. you know, bitter around us. So that's what you do. You basically scan a person's issues and be able to detect something that's a little a block of some sort, and you get rid of it? So whether it's a career issue, a wealth issue, um, honey, money, I say, 
or um, health issues, I basically go in into the energy field and find the seed or the beginning component of energy that began blocking or disturbing the flow for a person. So most of these experiences, you know, are hidden in the unconscious. And if we, you know, most people, I think if they knew where they were, they would have already unplugged or, or removed them, but we don't know where they are. So we go through a lot of life's knocks and hard lessons and repeating patterns that aren't necessary, I believe. If we only knew that, you know, to tap into the science of, of what is universal already existing. Well, that's why I think it's important to work with someone else other than trying to do your own self-help kind of stuff, like work with someone like you, because oftentimes you can see that what's going on and the person that's going through it is like blind to it. They don't really, like people always used to tell me that I used to hide behind my comedy. And I thought, what do you mean I'm hiding behind my comedy? I'm just being fun. But there was some issues that I was, uh, you know, you feel a little um, um, shy. either shy or feel, uh, I'm trying to, Trying to figure out the word, but uh, hesitant, here, uh, apprehensive. No, I think most of the success or really being seen, our spirit being seen, validated. You know, I'm going through some of that right now. I'm having some some success with some uh, work we're doing on Amazon and stuff. And now that it's happening, I can feel a little bit of sabotaging, wanting to shift gears and do something else. Stay on the path. Don't go in the dry price patty. Start getting a little <laughs> nervous and very uncomfortable with success and. And attention that's coming your way or even money flowing into your life and I think that's really common you know the one thing people want more than anything is more money it seems especially these days it's quite a common um, theme and love love relationships and money and yet you know we're saying oh yeah I'm open to receiving more but really you know when I look at their gauge or their meter they might be 25% able to access it and they might be harboring mom's patterns as dad's or grandma's patterns that you know, are deeply buried that are creating resistance. And, you know, like you said, when we're too close to it, when we're in the forest, we can't see the trees. Mm -hmm. So I am kind of like a drive-through process or a, um, you know, turbocharge, get, get, to the, get into it and get it removed so you can get on your track again. Well, it makes total sense. I mean, if I, I use an analogy of a combination lock a lot of times, because if you don't know the combination, it's really a bear to open them up. But if you know the combination, it's just like that and you open it up. So... It's you kind of see the combination within a person. If they're looking to go to a certain destination, you can say, oh, don't go that way, go this way. And I don't, you should go this way, but then you can kind of guide them right through and it's a lot easier, right? Well, sometimes we don't see the path and I don't always see where a person needs to go. More than that, I move the things that are blocking. So I think that, you know, the divine guidance, we're already programmed with this incredible, you know, blueprint, I call it, the soul's essence or the original blueprint. That's between you and God, you know, or your creator. What, how do you define that? And I think that what my job is to not tell you or, or sometimes I give you a guidance, but the journey of discovery is like Christmas. If, if I told you what your present was, it wouldn't be right. Christmas. It wouldn't be fun. <laughs> exactly. To it, right? And so there is a journey of discovery, and I think that's sort of a, an empowering process for each of us to be on. But... To, to know, we all know when we're doing the right thing. We kind of feel it. We get in the groove and it just keeps building and growing and we get excited and enthusiastic and things start flowing. Like, wow, this is too easy. I guess I must be doing something right. And enjoy and it. We might trip ourselves up because it feels too good. We're not familiar with it. Got it. Well, I like to smooth it out. I, I don't like to do these too long because people do have their lives to live and stuff. Just wanted to get to know who you are and things. So could you... Let us know how to get a hold of you and maybe how to get your book and all that kind of stuff. you got a website domain or anything like that if people want to yes. get a hold of you? The book is available on Amazon. So uh, it's Amira Hall is my name and Manifesting Miracles 101, The Art of Being in the Flow. And my website is Amira Hall, that's spelled A-M-I-R-A-H-H-A-L-L.com. And you can contact me, send me an email, or I also offer a half-hour, 30-minute um, private energy assessments so that you can we can discover where to go from there. And what's okay, going on for you. a getting to know you kind of. Yeah, I love Got it. it. Cool. Alrighty, well I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can as they say. So appreciate thank you taking you the time. So Amira Coles. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you.